Hey everybody, welcome to The Real Show Barbecue. Today we're going to be cooking Texas Pete Queso Dip. This recipe is a chili that is made here in North Carolina. They don't make Texas Pete chili anymore. They actually, a company out of Sanford, North Carolina, I don't remember the name off the top of my head, actually took the recipe over and it's very, very similar. Now this chili does not have any meat. I think they actually use a type of grit. Um, but it's very the, the, the grit is very tender. It's almost like you're eating uh, a type of meat. It's a very smooth chili. Trust me, it is awesome. I will show you in just a minute the type of brand that I'm using. Also, guys, this recipe can be used for like appetizers. Uh, it can also be used for right now with the Super Bowl coming up. Any type of uh, activity you got going on, this is super easy to do. Also, guys, right here, if you can see this, I'll get a little closer. This is my new logo. Uh, some good friends of mine and subscriber uh, made this for me for my birthday recently. If you guys are interested in getting any type of t-shirts or any kind of promotional items, be sure to send me your email or send me uh, a message, and I will get you in contact with a good friend of mine who can help you with that. So, guys, let's go ahead and get started with this queso dip. Okay guys, here we go. We're gonna uh, cook this at our Dutch oven here, and we've got it on medium high heat. To this, we're gonna add, this is a pound, this is not Velveeta, this is just like a regular block American cheese. This is a pound of just regular, just a mild American cheese here. And to this, we're gonna add a cup of milk. And as always, I will put in the show more section I will put the information on this. So what we're gonna do is let this melt down really good and then we'll add our rest of our ingredients. So guys, we'll see you back in just a few seconds. All right guys, as you can see, we've got the cheese melted down really well. So we're gonna go ahead and add the chili. And I wanna see if I can get this in the shot for you right quick. This right here, I'm sorry is a Texas tailgate chili sauce. Um, company out of Sanford, North Carolina. Let me see if I can find the information here. It's made by Boone's Brand. Boone'sBrand.com and again this has a soy grit is what it is. So it's meatless. But guys, this is awesome. I'm sorry for going back and forth with this can. Just trying to find a shot. But it is some great stuff. If you can get your hands on it, go ahead and get it. These cans are a little smaller than like the Hormel. If you have Hormel, use it. I don't see nothing wrong with it. I just wanted to show you this today. And these are smaller cans. I think the Hormel are like Hormel is about 15 ounces. These are 10 ounces. And it's kind of a thin chili. So I'm going to use two of these. So that's. 20 ounces total. Okay, so let's just stir this up really well. It's already starting to kind of thicken up a little bit. It's that cheese, we get that cheese incorporated really good. Okay, all right guys. And to this, I went ahead and I've kind of measured this out. We have five, excuse me, four and a half tablespoons of chili powder and then we're going to have two teaspoons of paprika and one teaspoon of sea salt. So we're going to go ahead and add that in there. Mix this up really well. All right. And now we're going to add our good old Texas Pete. We're going to add a tablespoon if you want to add two tablespoons. But we're going to try one tablespoon right now. So we can go ahead get this that one tablespoon. We may add a little bit more of that. So let's stir that up. All right, guys, what we're going to do is it's pretty much melted, but I'm going to let it kind of simmer 
for about 10 or 15 more minutes. See if we can get it just a little tad bit thicker. So total cook time, we're looking at maybe the cheese, maybe take about 10 minutes, so 20 minutes or less. Again, it just depends on how much, how long you want to simmer it once you get it all put together. So we'll see you guys back and we're going to give us a taste test right quick. All right, guys, here's our queso finally finished. I can't really turn it so you can see it, but you'll have a picture when you first uh, see the video. So let's go ahead and give it a taste. Let's go ahead and get a little closer in here like this. That's awesome. Oh my goodness. The flavor is phenomenal. Again, it's a, it's a typical queso dip, but without the meat. If you try this, I promise you, you will never know that it doesn't have meat in there. I'm a big, big time meat uh, eater. I love meat a whole lot more than I like vegetables. Um, but this right here has an awesome flavor. You can taste the chili powder in there, the Texas peat. Uh, I probably would have to put another, about another tablespoon in there because I like a little heat on it. Again, this is a great, great simple recipe. Highly recommend this recipe. Thank you so much guys, as always, for uh, checking us out. If you're not a subscriber, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe and hit that little bell over there so you get notifications. And thank you so much for everybody who's already subscribed. New viewers, we thank you so much for your support. I hope to see you soon. Thanks so much. And God bless.